I found myself on Lake Maxicucky in Indiana, northern Indiana. You look around, it's breezy. And it's going to stay breezy. So, I'm fishing a tournament. It's actually a one on one tournament. It's just me, me, just me, and myself, and the boat. I don't have a partner today. So, I have every single rod and reel you can imagine, everything tied up. And we're really going to focus on fishing the wind and see what we can do. Wind's usually fisherman's friend. Even when it's nasty and rough like this, it's, it's going to be this way all day long. In fact, it's probably going to get windier. Uh, and some rain's probably going to roll in. So, this is some pretty nasty stuff I'm going to be dealing with. Hopefully, I can figure a thing or two out, do well in this tournament. And I uh, have a good video for you. Thank you for watching. Hope you like what you see. sharp hooks on there so that's number two and only been fishing for maybe 20 minutes and I ain't sure it's been that long it's a good city it's starting this main lake point and I actually drifted up on the flat so I'm actually catching these fish up on the flat wind blowing onto it makes perfect sense number two got a good large mouth here much stronger winds today but uh, I'm not complaining they're gonna die down a little bit it's still a nice chop I've caught two cool uh, good large mouth keepers here on this point or excuse me it's a hump there's a hump out in front of a point there's a point behind me by about 150 feet that's uh it gets up to six seven foot and then it gets 20 foot and then this hump comes up to eight foot and that's the second one I've caught on my extreme bass tackle tube right here get excited like Max and Cucky stinks <laughs> holy moly I have been fishing for, let me see here, uh, 
five hours. Actually, about five and a half. I've caught four fish in this tournament. Luckily, they're all keep. I have uh, hooked and watched his head uh, four other bites. Haven't caught any of them. Or I didn't catch any of those. I have I, I fished out. I fished to wind. I fished humps and uh, flats and points. I, I've pretty much fished all. I've thrown umbrella rigs, uh, monkey punch, tubes, rattle traps, spinner baits, top waters, uh, soft stick baits, uh, scrounger bait. I even went in the, in the pads and threw a little frog and punched them a little bit. I had two bites on the rattle trap early, as you saw, and then two on the tube a little bit later. And I'm not sure what else to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling. The hunter fish is struggling. But I'm going to keep hunting. Oh, buddy. It might be a keeper. Come here. Ugh. Might, but probably not. But that stinks because I really need my fifth keeper. Uh, my first short fish of the day. I'm going to double check, but I'm quite certain he's on 13. Inch. Man, I'm glad it's over. I don't know how often you see on YouTube someone posting how bad they did in a tournament, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you see how bad I stunk it up. And boy, got my butt kicked. You saw what I got. Five total bass, only four of them kept. And uh, oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm not going to show you a whole video of me stinking it up. So what did I do? I came back out here to the same place the very next day in terrible conditions, which I'm about to show you now. And finally figure something out. Loch Ness lures little Nessie on the umbrella rig. Ended up being a pretty good day for us. Is that we started off first thing in the morning. I caught a couple, uh, caught one on a rail trap, just like it did the previous morning. And it was right away. Had a second one, you saw in the video, get off as well. And after that, we struggled. I did catch a second keeper on, on an umbrella rig. But then we struggled, man. We struggled mightily. We spent hours, hours with nothing. And I mean nothing. Little tiny walleye and then hauling water. I fished the R&B Bass Circuit with John DuPont, uh, seven hour event. We actually, we are also the tournament directors and I'm very proud to say we, uh, we finished second place overall for the West, for the season, 2018 season, which is really hard to do. Uh, it's very difficult to run the show and also win the show. We ran to another side of the lake and John, it was John's idea, head on over there. And after 15 minutes, I looked behind us and we saw some, some diving birds, some uh, seagulls diving. So we ran over to it, and that's when the magic happened. These fish were heated on bait, and the bait of choice was an umbrella rig, and I used lockless lures, little messy swim baits. They're about a little over three inch long swim bait. And in all honesty, I was trying to match the hatch best I could, and these are really light colored ones to uh, match the hatch. I, didn't, I don't have a go. And I started using different colored baits, and you know, in all honesty, it didn't matter. They bit all.
over here. Also, oh, yeah. That's why you're doing so much better. You got quite a bait. Look, look what it get. That's what they're eating out here, like, man. Little Nessie's doing it. And here's how we finished. <laughs> Fourth place, $185. John Dupont and Andy Buss with 10.93 pounds. Next up is our classic on the Detroit River. There's sure to be a lot of awesome footage coming on that one too. So if you liked the video, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. If you didn't like the video, you know what? Tell me that too. I'd love comments, comments are